guys, my name is Unique and welcome to Bay Inc. Today I'm going to give you guys a review for my Pulse Boutique London haul from last month. I'm not gonna lie, I actually have not used most of these bags because we have been on lockdown. However, I can give you guys my initial and honest opinions on the design, the style, of course, the overall quality of the bags and the brand itself as well. Just a quick disclaimer before we start, I am in no way affiliated with the brand. I'm just an ordinary girl sitting at home giving my insights on purchases that I've made. And hopefully this video review can actually help other consumers out there who are also planning to make their own purchases. Before I take out the bags, I figured maybe we could do a quick intro or recap for who calls Petite London is. Pulse Boutique was actually founded in 2000 and they started in a vintage market stall in London. If I remember correctly, I think their bag designs consisted mostly of bright colors, bling, lots of leopard prints and badges with an iHeart PB logo, just as how you would actually see an iHeart NY logo. Through the years, I think that their bag values actually kind of decreased and they weren't as popular as when they started to come out. The reason is there were lots of imitation items going around. However though, these past few years, they have been conquering the mid-price market once again. They've even been featured in some K-pop, K-drama series, which they also talk about in a blog in their actual website. And I guess they've been quite popular in South Korea where celebrities actually wear them. So they've gone through a whole rebranding phase and now they offer fashion forward products that look very chic and sophisticated which I will show you in this review. They have even introduced a luxury range of authentic leather bags that are slightly more expensive than your average bag. Though their old designs were as you can say quite tacky or a bit too much, now they are rather stylish elegant and best part is the prices all stay the same. So let's begin. I'm gonna be showing you guys seven bags today. I actually want to start with the packaging. However, like I said, this is a haul. So they actually all came in a big white box that has Pulse Boutique on it. But I did get one individually. It's that one there. I will be showing you guys an unboxing of that later on. And to be honest, that is actually my favorite bag. So I think I'm going to be saving the best for last. Here is bag number one. This is the Zaria in pink from the York collection. This is a large, soft, slouch shoulder bag with a gold chain strap and it features the lightning bolt logo in front which is actually seared with press studs. By the way, the Daria also has studs at the bottom. I just want to say that I actually really love this bag. The reason is, apart from the color, the material that they've used, though it's not real leather, is surprisingly very thick. Look how thick that is. The quality is actually going to be amazing just by the feel of the material they used. So inside it has three pockets. There are one, two. One is zip. And you have Pulse Boutique logo embossed inside. Also stamped in the front of the bag. So it even has buttons here which can extend your bag. This is actually perfect for everyday use. It's big enough to fit all of my essentials and more. And it goes with dresses, jeans, it goes with anything really. Next, we have Midi Mabel Top Handle in Navy from the Sherwood Collection. I originally wanted this in mustard. Unfortunately, it was out of stock back then and it actually still is. If they do have it in stock anytime soon, I might just put this up for grabs. That's why I haven't really removed all the original packaging yet. This bag features beautiful work of sewn tone-on-tone -tone stripes in the front. It doesn't have it in the back. I really above this 3D texture. Kind of gives it a little bit more of a premium feel. Inside it has a dust bag. Not all the bags actually have dust bags. However, this one does. I'm not sure if you can buy them separately. It has three pockets. One is zip and there's two here. 
It also comes with a cross body strap. It's actually attached to it. Like I said, I still might put this up for grabs. I'm gonna keep that the way it is. I think that this is such an elegant day-to-day -day bag. It's spacious enough to fit my essentials. It's a perfect accessory to any working lady like me. Next, we have the Logan Top Handle in Black from the Walbrook Collection. Like the previous bag, this is another textured bag. It's a quilted, structured bag with twin top handles and a detachable cross body strap. The logo sits on the front, just like the Midi Mabel. The tonal stitching here is actually what makes this bag absolutely gorgeous. Kind of makes it a little bit more, you know, elite looking. It just looks a little bit more expensive in some way. And I really love how soft that is, but still really, really thick. So I've actually already used this bag once, even though the, the design is absolutely gorgeous and it would really go well with any outfit. Fit. I do think that it's more of an evening bag rather than a day-to-day -day bag. So as you can see, I'm gonna open it up. It is quite narrow. If you're like me and you kind of bring the whole house with you when you leave, it doesn't really have that much space. I wasn't really oh. able to fit a lot in here. The good news is this does come in a midi Mabel. It'll be like this size, which is a lot bigger. However, in this design. Next, I have another Midi Mabel. The Midi Mabel top handle in sage green from the Chedworth collection. This comes with a detachable strap. It also features a cute detachable bow in the front. The hardware all around is silver for this one. Inside, it is fully lined in burgundy. We do have three pockets. One is actually a zip compartment. The Pulse Boutique logo is on there as well. So this again, I think is perfect for everyday use. It's huge, so you can fit a whole lot inside this bag. And although I already got a Midi Mabel from the Sherwood collection, I honestly could not resist the design of this when I saw it because I'm kind of obsessed with pastels. I just really, really fell in love with the color. I mean, like, look, I'm gonna try it and turn off the light just so that you guys can see the actual color. So it's kind of like pastel-y. It's absolutely gorgeous. So the next two bags are the smaller bags that I bought because it's not all the time you're going to want to bring everything anyways. First up, we have the Cine Bomb bag in burgundy from the Fletcher collection. As you can see, it is a faux snakeskin convertible belt bag with an adjustable belt and gold chain cross body strap. I'll show you guys how to wear this. So the semi bum bag is not that big. I can probably only fit my phone, a tiny purse, and a few makeup on here. It's not that soft either. It won't really expand that much for you. Like I said, it is a belt bag. And who doesn't love a hands-free bag nowadays? This is the Anya in Burgundy from the Basing Collection. This is another one of my favorite bags from this haul. It's a faux fur bum bag with a canvas waistband. It can be worn across the waist or across the body like this. So inside it has a zip pocket compartment which you don't really see a lot of in fanny packs. And it even has like pockets for your cards and whatnot, which is really, really handy. The Pulse Boutique London logo embossed inside as well. It's soft, so it will expand a little bit more for things that you want to put in there. At the back, you also get another zip compartment. Look at that. I'm actually loving the gold hardware accents of this bag from the zipper and the buckle. All the zippers have an engraved Pulse Boutique London logo on it. If you've seen our teaser videos, you'll see that this also comes in navy blue. They also have a backpack version in the collection, which for those embracing this must-have trend, you'll be able to travel with all your essentials and still look chic. Last but certainly not the least, let's go unbox our seventh bag. Wow. 
like I said earlier, you guys, you do get individual boxes if you order them one by one, depending on the size, I guess, which I think is kind of nice as it helps with the storage. To be honest, I actually prefer them in boxes rather than having them in dust bags because it is a lot easier to stack and to store boxes rather than just have dust bags lying around. So when you open the box, you'll see that it's just wrapped in plastic and paper. This one actually comes with a dust bag. And here we are! This is the Maya in Lila from the Kenwood Collection. The Kenwood Collection, if I'm not mistaken, is one of their more luxurious collections from their Spring Summer 2020 line. They've released some authentic leather pieces in this collection as well. There's this gorgeous black leather with suede accents. Even on sale, it was still a bit too expensive for me. So like I mentioned, I am obsessed with pastels. That's why I went with the lilac. And I'm actually very happy I did because this is so gorgeous. Again, I'm gonna turn off the lights so just so that you can see the color. There. Isn't that gorgeous? So as you can see, it is quite large, which is perfect for me because like I mentioned earlier, when I do go out, I do like to take my whole house with me. I'm not even joking. And it actually has a classic look, which I think can be taken from day to night. It features a gold chain strap and a Pulse Boutique lightning bolt. I'm actually gonna bring out the Daria in a little bit because they kind of do look a bit similar just so that you guys can see the difference. The bolt is again seared with press-on studs. So inside it is fully lined in burgundy and let me just say I am actually loving the contrast of lilac and burgundy against each other. It has one zipped compartment to secure all of your valuable items. It also has four brass studs at the bottom. Oh, I forgot to show you that the Midi Mabel in Sage Green also has this, so it protects it from damage. Again, like I said, this is not genuine leather unlike the black one. The material of this bag, even though it's not real leather, is actually surprisingly thick. The Pulse Boutique logo is stamped in front. The color is so fun, elegant, and just so sophisticated. This also comes in, I think, electric pink, royal blue, and white. I'm gonna bring out the Daria again. So as you can see, they do have some similarities. Their size, the strap, and the lightning bolt that sits in the flap. But let me just point out the difference, okay? With the Doria, the shape is actually slouchy. It's more of a trapezoidal in shape. The Maya, however, it's more rectangular and it's a bit more sturdy. It's not as slouchy as the Doria. The Doria, I think, is perfect for a more laid-back casual kind of look. And the Maya, I think, is better for a classy, sophisticated, more elegant look. And that is all of them. All in all, I do give the reincarnated Pulse Boutique London a 5 star rating. The reasons are, number one, it was highly recommended to me by one of my best friends. She said that the quality was just amazing. It's actually been the only brand I've splurged on on buying, you know, several bags all in one go. Number two, I truly fell in love with their designs the very first time I peeked at their website. Number three, the prices are just so affordable, you guys. The quality that you get for these bags is honestly unbelievable. The bags are all so elegant with the right level of chicness. It can actually go with any outfit like you saw earlier with the Daria and the Maya. Whether you want to dress it down or you want to dress it up, you certainly can find the perfect accessory from Pulse Boutique London. For anyone watching who wants to get themselves their own Pulse Boutique bag, please do keep updated for our first launch through our Facebook and Instagram pages as we will be posting some amazing sale items on there and I do hope that you guys enjoyed and found this video very helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!